Hell yeah. All right, how do you derive the law of cosines? Let's get right to it. You know what I mean. You got all those three. Now, how would you ever, how would you ever figure that out? No one, no one knows. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw a, a triangle that's like really long. I think it's the easiest way to figure this problem out. And uh, so here's side B. Here's angle a that means this is side a this is side c this is this is angle uh, angle c this is angle b you don't need to know that and then i would just draw this line down right here because we're just going to do the first one okay so now now we're just going to get everything in terms of angle a because that's what we got cosine in terms of angle a we got all those uh, sides now okay so uh what we know is that this is the sine of a and this is the cosine of a and more specifically this is c uh cos damn it c uh sine of a and then this one right here from there to there is going to be c uh times cosine of a cool all right so uh, now you know i mean that's kind of your setup now you're you're trying to find what a is and uh, you use the Pythagorean theorem because you know that a squared is equal to, well, hell yeah, this distance squared plus this distance squared. Well, what are they? What's this distance? We already got that one. So this is just uh, c uh, sine of a uh, squared. Cool. And then uh, plus this. What's this distance? Now, this distance is going to be all of B, but minus this little section. So, we're going to go all of B <clears throat> minus C uh, cosine A. And you got to square that entire thing. Now, you simplify, and uh, something will pop out. You know what I mean? That's the magic trick. So, we got C squared sine, uh, sine A squared plus... Okay, so what the hell is this? This, this is B minus C cosine a and you got to do it twice you got to multiply them together oh and this this drives me nuts that i have c and then this cosine it's just it's like a double easy to mess up easy to mess up because now we got b squared and now we got uh b uh now we got uh uh you know to I mean minus bc cosine a and then minus cb cosine a and then uh, plus uh, you know what I mean? C, C, cosine, uh, A, and then all, that's just squared. Okay, cool. So how do you simplify this? This is B squared minus, uh, 2, uh, B, C, because there's two of these, uh, cosine A. And then this is, this is just, uh, C squared cosine squared A. Booyah! So now we got it. So let's put it over here. We got B squared minus 2, B, C cosine a plus c squared cosine squared a well now you know what i mean i i, I th the 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 say no thing to do is get this stuff you know what i mean closer to over here so we'll do that uh minus 2 bc uh cosine a because now now you're gonna have these two things over here and i guess we'll just we'll just do this a thousand times so you, well, we'll just do it once. So you got C squared, and then you got sine squared A plus cosine uh, squared A. Now, did you see that? You got cosine there, sine there, and both your, uh, both multiplied by C squared. Okay, but what do we know about the sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of an angle? That's just one. That's just one. So that, that goes to one. So hell yeah, we're basically done. Uh, a squared is equal to b squared this is just c squared plus c squared and then we just subtract this uh 2 b c cosine a hell yeah we did it we did it you know what i mean and the whole the whole setup it just works out if you do like a really long triangle you'll see that hey this is mostly b but then just minus this little section so this little this little thing there is b minus uh c cosine a and then you got to square it you got to square that uh, this, uh, this squared plus this squared equals that squared, and boo, yeah, we did it, you know what I mean, and, and you do you for the other triangles, uh, hopefully this video was under five minutes, and it was, hell yeah, I don't think you can get no better than that, uh, and that's a video.